Hello everyone, it's your favorite Sensotech Jedi Lisa here, and in this video we're going to be talking about policies. Um, with policies, these are going to be things that you want to run on your devices when a session starts. Um, it can be anything from a safeguarding policy, which of course any of these uh, things that I'm referencing here as far as like safeguarding setup, we have other videos that kind of deep dive into that. This is just a general overview of policies policies. So with policies, again, these are going to be things that happen when a Senso session starts on a device. So safeguarding policy is going to run all the time on these devices. So make sure you watch those videos. Um, our web content filter, that's going to, you know, that's something that's going to run all the time on these. Um, what I'm kind of generally referencing in this video is how to set up a policy. Um, I will look at kind of some of the other examples of it and some best practices. You will see a KB article, uh, probably two or three KB articles that are linked into the description of this one, I would suggest reading through all of those before you start setting any up policies in your environment. So with policies, they're right here. You'll see that the one I've selected is the very, very top of my structure. So anything that I apply here is going to go down to all my sites and all of my groups. So typically these are going to be reserved for things like safeguarding or web content filter. Now I have pulled those out separately just because I'm referencing those. Um, anything as far as safeguarding, you can actually build policies where you can have multiple items in the same policy. Um, so these are just pulled out for, uh, for the video for this. Um, uh, now, looking at the sites below, if you want to be more specific and just say, okay, I only want this to run on this site in any groups below that. Now, again, we're just setting this at a site level and you can be even more granular and say, okay, I only want this policy to run on any devices in this group. So my suggestion, best practices for anything that you set up like this, because think of it like Active Directory when you're doing group policies. Make a test group, make a group of devices that you can put in there, test how this is going to run on your devices. You can kind of get an idea of what's going to happen when the session starts, when this policy runs. It's great to have a test group of devices so you're familiar with it before you deploy it out to your entire tenancy of devices. So from here, um, let's go back up here into admin. I'm going to just build a policy here that's going to flow down to these devices. Let me see. Uh, let me actually pick a group. Yeah, I've got devices in there um, for this one. So very quickly, I didn't realize that that one is logged out. I'm going to take control of that device very quickly and get logged in so that you can see what's going to happen here. Let's build a very simple, straightforward policy. And this one, um, I love this one. I like telling my customers this is a great one to set up is in session. Utilize in session so that the end of the day that you can um, have them log out of all your devices. So people have forgotten to you know, log out of their devices. You have a lab. IT suite of devices that you know those students in there are, are always forgetful about logging out. This is something you can run at the end of the day. Also shut down. Think of it as like a power management. Um, you want after five o'clock, uh, you know, you push this out to all of your, your devices. Hey, I want to go ahead and have this shut down all my Windows devices at the end of the day. So for here, I'm going to go into policies. I am going to click the plus sign right there to create this new policy. This is going to be my end of the day policy. Again, you want to stack all these together. If it's something very similar that you want to do at the top down, you can add multiple items into a policy. I'll show you about that in just a second. So I like to build these first and then enable them. Go ahead and put all of the, the settings, the steps that you need into this policy first before you enable it. So I'm going to call this end of the day policy. Again, it's like file management. Make sure you label it something you know what it is when you're coming back to audit these later and make some changes. So I have created it. Now I need to add the item into it. So you'll see you've got some options here. Edit is just to enable or disable the policy. You can copy the policy now and set it to another group or site. So if you are doing something that is very granular and it's like one little change in there for each of your sites and groups, create a master copy if you are a master set and then copy it down to the other ones and make the little changes from there. Um, again, you can copy policy schedules, which we're going to talk about right now. You can actually set a schedule for this. 
So let's go ahead. I kind of jumped the gun there. Uh, let's create the item and then let's set a schedule on it. So I'm going to go ahead and click items. I have to add an item in. So when I click on that, you'll see that I get uh, another box of information to add in. Here is the, I can name it here. Again, this is going to be in, uh, in session or end of day. Uh, then here is the type because all of our tool sets can be run as a policy so you'll see that you can go through and pick which of the items that you're adding into this our item here is end session when I click on the item you'll see that the box changes because now it's my options for end session if I chose something else it would then um, give me the options for that tool just like you open the tool over here here are the options for this policy um, I'm going to say log out. I'm going to allow the user to cancel the shutdown. If you need, if you have any questions about in session, reference the video that I have in the network or management classroom management. Oh my gosh, it's the network <laughs> management remote control playlist. I talk specifically about in session and how to utilize that tool. Uh, display message, I'm going to say save your work. Any customized message if you were shutting down, end of day, that sort of thing, give a custom message. This one is great for this tool. Wait until the user or device is idle. Um, so if this is something you want to run throughout the day, um, that if a device is sitting there and it is idle for a certain amount of minutes, it will then remit a change as in log out, restart, or shut down. So that's another great way that you can think about how to use this particular module within a policy. See how there's so many different ways you can utilize this. Um, so again, that's another Another aspect of this particular module that you can utilize in a policy. Allow operation on Windows servers. If you don't want this to run on your Windows servers, you have Senso on there because you like to remote in and, and, and take care of them through Senso. Make sure that you don't want this to run. You just leave that blank. If you do want it to run on your Windows servers, you can always check that box. And then display seconds. You can um, give a countdown timer. It's going to a little box, a box will pop up on there and let them know they have this amount of time before or it's going to get logged out. And again, if you click on more information, it's going to take you to the KB article for this module. So I've made all my selections as far as what I want to happen with this tool. I'm going to click confirm. It's going to add it in as my item. Remember uh, I said earlier that you can stack items. If I wanted to add another item for the end of the day policy, I could go in and add another policy item into this. So you can have policies that run multiple items, multiple tools um, for your devices. So again, edit is just going to be to modify those settings and delete if I want to delete this item. So I want to go up a level. That's this little X right here. I'm going to go up the level. So there's my end of the day policy. Remember, we created a policy. We put items in the policy. There's two different sides to this. Um, and now we're going to talk about schedule. So when I click on schedule, I can say I want this to run um, either um, on logon or startup or on a schedule. It can be active from a specific date time. Now these are days. Um, we're going to talk about when we want it to run, but you can literally set policies to only only run in a specific time um, set of days. So there's a whole video about adding schedules um, separate to this. So uh, kind of reference that one if you want to take a little bit deeper dive into adding a schedule into uh, a policy. So from here, I'm going to say end of day. So let's say uh, 14. That, that'll be fine. We're just using this as an example. Now this is something that you don't want to continually be bombarding it because we're asking the computer to log out. Um, we don't want it to continue asking for two hours here. So think about the tool that you're utilizing in for this, like how uh, you know you don't want it to sit there and just constantly for two hours asking that device over and over and over and over. Um, do you want to log out? Do you want to log out? So typically, you know, five minutes is fine plenty of time to ask, you know, your set of devices, um, hey, 
we're going to log you out or if someone's sitting there they're going to cancel it again you can pick the days of the week that you want to run this on only you want to run it on specific days you want to run it on uh, every single day of the week you can check those boxes and then required log on state it does it have to be logged on does it, do you only want to look at things logged off or any again um, reference kb articles and more information about adding schedules so i've kind of i've said my it's enabled it's on a schedule uh, i'm not going to set any time i want this to run all the time time or every day you know uh, or what I'm trying to say is not in a certain set of days I just want this to run um, until I change it it's going to run from 1400 to 1405 and uh, run on every single day of the week and I'm going to click confirm Again, you get the options to edit, which would be to edit the policy, you know, or the, the schedule for this policy in there or delete. We're going to go up a level. We're going to click that X again. And now you're going to see that I have a clock there now. I have this scheduled. It's going to be a scheduled policy. It's unlike our safeguarding policy that runs all the time. This is going to be a scheduled policy. And now I'm ready to turn it on. So I'm going to click edit. I'm going to enable it and click confirm. And now I'll get a check mark there boom it is a scheduled policy that's going to run on these devices so at 1400 it's going to log out the devices and give them the options that I chose within policies so think about this when you're setting up um, you can put policies for any of the modules again I will make sure to reference as many KB articles in the description for this tool as I can so you make sure you educate yourself and again set up a test group run this set it up on there so you make sure you understand how it works on your devices all right, see you in the next one. Bye.